Vicks. Well, Hayden, first talk to me today. You know, you were at lunch, and you know what happened. So at lunch, my friend he he pulled out a lunchbox that that was his lunchbox, and he had a sandwich bag full of gummies, different kinds of gummies. It looked like regular gummy bears, and he he offered me some. I took I took like three. I tried one. It tasted weird. Then then it tasted good. The aftertaste, it tasted really good. So I started eating them and eating them. Then uh, my other friends, they started asking. When they asked, Aiden was like, yeah, sure. Then they ate some. And after lunch, we went to our class. We felt like nauseous, sick in our stomach, hot. So we went up to the uh, nurse's office and when we were at the nurse's office, um, another student, she, it was a she, there's two she's and five gr uh, boys. And um, when my friend, and um, when they were in the hallway, uh, the ambulance com came because uh, my friend in the hallway, she, she was talking uh, to the teacher. And when she was talking to the nurse, she, and the nurse was like, open your eye, because she had a, like, you know them visions? She had to open her eye, and she, she was like, she was like, she was twitching. And when she was twitching, they were like, then they called 911. When they called 911, all the ambulance came, and like a girl nurse, whatever, she, she doesn't come at my school, she came, and she was like, you have to open your eye. They cut off the lights, and she was like, she was shaking, and so they put her in a chair, they, they, she, uh, they strolled her out to the ambulance. Then they went to check on the boys. It was, it was me, my friend, my other friend. We were in the um, back room. When we were in there, um, the um, ambulances, they came and they checked us out. And they were doing our arm, our fingers, our temperature. And I had a 99.8. And my other friends, I don't know, but, um, and I was like, when they said, we're gonna have to take you to the uh, doc, uh, hospital. hospital. And when they said we have to take to the hospital, all of us, they told, they told us all. And my two other friends, they started crying because they were scared because they didn't want to go. And when they, when they started stopped crying, then I was the first one to get in the chair. I hopped in the chair. They flew, they threw on everything. And when I went in the ambulance, they had to put needles and check my temperature and all that. And when I ended up at the hospital, I felt fine. When you were at school, um, what were some of the things that you felt like? What were, how did you feel after a certain period of time? What was, what, what did you feel like? So what I felt like was like, when I took it, I was feeling like, this is a really good gummy. But I realized it, it wasn't a gummy. But when I tried it, it didn't taste like it. It just tasted like something else. Cause I know what gummies taste like. And when I tried it, it tasted not that sweet. And when I was done eating them all, I had 10 of them. And when I had 10 of them, I just, just feeling nauseous, hot, sweaty, and that's about it. When you got to the hospital, were you nervous at all about anything? I mean, I know you said some of your friends were, but were you nervous? I mean, I know your mom said she was with you, thankfully, but I mean, for you, that's gotta be a little scary. Yeah, did. so like, when I was at the doctor's, I was feeling better. Yeah, I was, like, when I was in the ambulance, I was really, like, they could barely put my things on because I was shaking so much. And now that you're okay, you know, are you 
glad that you're okay. You know, yep. are your friends doing okay? Yeah, I was worried about my friends when I was laying in the bed. And I was like, can I go see my friends? Can I go see my friends? Can I go check on them? That makes you a good friend. Yep. Well, now that this is behind you, um, you know, are you? what do you hope happens now? I mean... The one that had a... Uh, they got a test of positive. I hope he's okay and... Huh? What did, you what did you learn from this situation? <laughs> um, if people offer you things, foods, do not, do not take it from them. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Aiden. I appreciate that. You need to take that hat off. <laughs> no, I like it. Thank you. Did you just talk for me really fast? Hello, hello, perfect. hello. And you were one of the moms that were notified from Central today, correct? Yes, about 2.30 today, I got a phone call from um, the nurses stating that there had been an incident at the school and that my child, among other kids, had uh, taken some gummies and they wasn't sure what kind of gummies it was. Um, they said it wasn't in a regular bag, it was in a baggie. So just to take precaution, they decided they wanted to uh, get the kids' parents to bring them home and just to make sure they're monitored and everything. Um, so I was on the way there and um, I got a phone call back from the nurse stating that he was um, lethargic, he was tired, his stomach was hurting. So they decided to um, take him to the ER. Um, by ambulance. So he was one of the ones taken by ambulance yes. today. Mm -hmm. As a mom, when you receive a phone call like this stating that your child has eaten a gummy and something has happened, where does your mind go? Um, where any mother's mind would go. Um, it was uh, scary, um, especially in today's society. You just don't know what's in anything. Um, so I was, I was petrified. When you got to the hospital, where was your son? Um, well, I actually rode with him by ambulance as soon as I got there. Um, they had taken him straight back to one of the bays um, and was running blood tests on him, doing EKGs, making sure that everything was in normal range. When you got the update that this was a fentanyl issue, your child is, what, 12? 10. 10. He's 10. 10 years old at an elementary school. I mean, this isn't something that you, I, I, I feel like this isn't something that so um, any mom should have to go through, especially at something with this age. Um, absolutely not. Um, I was okay. I noticed he was fine. His vitals were fine. He was normal. He was acting normal. So I didn't really think anything of it. Um, they did give us a call and state that um, it was just some gummy bears, natural gummy bears from Sam's Club. So I was okay with that. Um, they did, the doctor did state that he wanted to run some more blood tests due to it being in a baggie instead of a regular, you know, um, snack pack. So with that, um, they wanted to make sure it wasn't contaminated. Um, I got a f phone call from um, superintendent, um, the public official, um, and the doctor. Uh, two hours later, stating that they had filled, uh, tested the baggie, and unfortunately it had a fentanyl residue on it. Um, and that's when it, w it went downhill from there. When you hear the word fentanyl, did you at any point think, you know, this could be it? Um... I was very, I, I, of course I was scared as a mother. Anybody would be scared. Um, and like I said, today's society, you just don't know what's in anything. A grain of salt is like, could kill you. Um, I'm very aware with fentanyl and any other drugs that could be detrimental to somebody's health or life. Um, so with that being said, um, I was crushed, I was scared. Um, and I ran straight to the nurses to let them know what had just happened. Um, so it was, um, it definitely scared me. Were you pleased with how the school system handled giving you updates? I mean, 
I know there were we I received we received a phone call stating that you know this wasn't done in a timely manner. Um, I've spoken to the superintendent about you know with the timeline of these events when he got the information when the first incident was reported to when he got it. Mm -hmm. You know, was there any concern there? Or, you know. How did you feel? I feel like the school handled it as, as well as they could. Um, you know, as soon as the students let the nurses know what was going on, um, you know, this was dispersed with the ch amongst the children at around 12 o'clock today. Um, I don't think that they s went straight to the nurse to let them know that they were having symptoms. Um, like I said, I got a call about 2.30 um, that we needed to come and get them. After that, you know, they tried to investigate as much as they could with the parents of whoever um, just to make sure what this substance or what these gummies were. So, um, yeah, I feel like they handled it as, as good as they could. And now as they continue this investigation, I mean, do you know even remotely how these even got into school? Was, it, was there any discussion among the other parents? Did... Did somebody bring them? I mean, do you know anything about that? Um, from what I know, my son has let me know that it was a student that brought um, just regular gummy bears to the school in a unrecognizable baggie, sandwich bag. Um, I do know that they are being investigated. Um, we do know who the child was, um, and Amherst County Sheriff's Department has taken care of everything. Um, I also do know from a different source that one of the other children that was involved did test positive for fentanyl, mm -hmm. and they are still at the hospital. And your son did not test positive? After lab results and everything came back, he was normal for any kind of fentanyl residue or anything, thank God. Good. Um, and are these students his friends? Is, is this a small group of um i was told this happened during lunch today um these were all kids in his class um so he knows every single one of them um well is there anything else that i haven't asked you that you would like to add maybe something that i've overlooked um i just wanted to make it aware to parents out there that please be aware of your children make sure that they don't touch anything that look suspicious, they don't take anything from anybody, and that they are well aware of anything that could potentially happen as far as drugs. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're I welcome. really appreciate that, Christina. You're welcome. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.